that's what Secret's kind of looking for here. This IO Gyro just out efficiencying the Life Stealer overall throughout the game. Mid is definitely going very one sided. Nisha's yeah. actually been uh, top. Yeah, they're battling right now. They do have the Fatal Bonds on to Zai, and it uh, doesn't matter, though. Zai's still able to get the kill on FNG. Nico Baby's not able to keep up, especially with the App Store. With basically the rest of the teams left in the field, teams that you should be beating, Alliance should be basically 7-0 by the end of the season and being first place and already being in playoffs. But they need to be able to make some moves here, and they're going to go for this bottom lane kill. Oh, the Golem drop actually stops Puppy from being able to relocate out, but the Reaper's size stops the Mars. He bring, goes down, and Matum Man actually survives through it all. FNG's going to be run down by Nisha, no doubt, especially with the missile chasing him out as well. Alliance try and make a move here because they weren't happy with the, how the lanes were going, but a big rebuttal by Nisha. They just feel so strong. And Hood. I, I'm actually just seeing like Hood every single game, too. Zai's going to come up, and he's not afraid of anything, apparently. But there is a rebuttal from Limp. He's going to get the spear inside the arena underneath the Tier 1 tower, but the relocate coming in, and Alliance aren't actually strong enough to fight this. Maybe they can still hold their tower here, but the Glyph is going to wear out. They're going to drop the goal. They do have a really good Fatal's Bomb. The Spear goes through with the relocate back. They're going to be able to catch these heroes, potentially. So the Zampede going off. Looking to be able to run down the Underlord. Zai's nice. now dead. Nisha's low, but they are running a bit out of steam. Unless Limp. He does have... He, okay, he does manage to land that Spear. Nico Baby's here to be able to finish him up, but he managed to get off the Ghost Shroud. He's going to heal up a little bit more. Io's coming in. He's going to tether him. He turns around, goes for the Reaper Sight, but no. Nico Baby makes sure that's not going to happen. Limp keeps it going. Now, with that Arcane Rune, he just keeps getting hits in limp that was a great fight for alliance because they needed that it felt like if they didn't win that fight this game was just gonna go downhill position no that's like yeah that one's like should never happen it we'll see nico baby charging in still have this ward on the high ground so they have great information of side's gonna break that smoke and they're just gonna take this they're gonna try and go for side here and he's gonna be very tanky but maybe not taking enough unless they'll relocate it gets him out of there puppy Great reaction by him, and he kept him close, too, so they can still take this fight, potentially. S4 caught in the avalanche, but they didn't have any following stuns there. That is a bit of the problem. But if Zai's not there, they pretty much only have avalanche. They're going to catch him inside of the pit. S4 will still cop a little bit of damage here. He's actually going to use He'll be able to come back into the pit. They're going to do a lot of damage to Reaper Sight. That's going to be enough to finish him. Uh oh and that's 70 seconds. No, no. No big bruiser, no big frontline, no big AOE stun. They still have the Warlock and the Lina for the backup, but now they can just go start talk, touching this Roche. Uh-oh. They didn't stop the missile, but they're going to be into a clutch point. And Nico Baby's right there in the front. Starts fishing out the damage. Ritzai gets a lot of heal and FNG. He managed to get off the golem, but now he's dead. Nico Baby no longer having the rage. He's going to be caught inside the pit. Oh, dear, Alliance. They thought they could maybe take this in a four versus five, but the death ball of Secret, they're grouped up. They're healing each other. The burst from Alliance just doesn't seem to be doing enough to get a kill. It's hard because you don't want to be fighting into a fresh BKB and Aegis Gyrocopter. But at the same time, you don't feel confident about letting the game go late. But Secret is going to push to the high ground here because they know Alliance is just trying to split push right now. So they're saying, OK, you want to split push? We're going to hit your tier three. You have to come back to the base. And if they don't get caught in the process, it's okay. A toss back, Limp. He did get a good arena, but the Yule Scepter. Nisha stops the immediate spear. Still managed to catch Puppy, though, and they take out Puppy. A big win. Matama Man is kind of in deep right now. The Reaper Scythe. Oh, it barely got him towards the end. Mars does end up going down, but a one for two trade so far to the favor of Alliance. Now they're going to go for an Underlord Dark Rift out. They're hoping to be able to kill Matama Man or catch anybody, but they just don't have any repositioning tools they Dark Rifted back, but they didn't go all the way back to base or anything, yeah. and they also hold the Outpost. So it's, it hasn't been more, much more than a minute, and Secret is right back to controlling the map. All right. Matumba Man getting quite low, no longer having flat cannon shots, but still having that Aegis for a bit longer. So Alliance... They've got to go. I mean, it's still a full minute. They're going to have to go for this anyway. Trying to go for this spear on the puppy. They are focusing him down. They do manage to get him with the golem being dropped afterwards. But Tumba Man, his first life is gone. But he does have BKB on the second. A buyback coming in from puppies. He relocates in. Reaper side. They're putting damage on Nico Baby. But he managed to get the infest. They're getting him out of there. They're going to save him. Limp. He's going to be the other target. The missile's coming in, but they're going to deal with that. Alliance, they can reset off of this one. In fact, they're going to go back in. And Zai knows it too. He needs to be able to Dark Rift him out of here. Matumba Man being targeted. The spear away. And Limp gets him. He gets him out of the Dark Rift. And Matumba Man will die as a result. And look at the tips coming in. They know Limp just pulled a clutch play for Alliance. It's a lot different. Secret are the ones on the high ground. 
They see. Zai knows this. They see Zai. The <laughs> yeah, okay. I, I I was just watching the way Yapso was playing. Oh, man, sometimes I really wish you could go player perspective when you're uh, when you're casting and stuff. But uh -huh. they were like just checking that that creep is S4. Oh, they're gonna try it for it. BKB going off the spear doesn't land. Limp. He's gonna try and get out with the stampede. He's already taken so much damage. But look. Uh oh, Nico baby, he's gotta be careful. Somebody's gotta be able to save him. It's gonna be FNG. He's gonna put his body on the line here to try and get Nico baby out of here and healed up. Are they gonna be able to turn around on this? The missile going out. Reaper's size still available. He's gonna toss him back into the pit, but S4, he's gonna go in. This may actually be an initiation onto the gyro cup to relocate away. Puppy is not gonna be able to make it out, and he wasn't going anywhere anyway. He actually lands in the exact same spot, and Puppy goes down as well. Nico baby's able to focus him. Limp is gonna fall, but it doesn't really matter. Nico baby is all the damage right now. And he is pumping it out. He's trying to bring down Zai. The ethereal form came out for a second there, but it doesn't do enough. Now Nico Baby can start munching on Anisha. Anisha tries to save himself with the Reaper's sight, but it doesn't do enough. Nico Baby, he's happy, he's healthy, and he's having a great lunch here in game one against Secret. He does have a satanic finish now, so it's going to be a lot harder for them to do that one shot. But they find Zai. Yeah, Zai. He he is not going to be relocated out in time. Puppy is now in some big time troubles. He doesn't have a tether to be able to get away. So Nico, baby, he can try and munch on him. Go scepter, tether up in one more second. But the stomp comes in first. Tether away. Oh, relocate back, actually. And they don't have anybody around. Yeah, so you can see him cutting creep waves here. Maybe regretting it. The choice to just go for that straight damage is lines have just completely swung this game around. Yeah, they certainly have, and they're going to keep the momentum Nisha. going. They're going to go for Nisha here. Nisha, a tether's already up, so it's not like they have any way to bail him out. Nisha, he put himself out there. Ah. And he spent his, he bought a relic too, so extra damage, and it's pure damage versus BKB. A uh, secret. They might just be crumbling a little bit here. They're going to have to hold without Nisha somehow. The relocate back a little bit. FNG is going to drop the golem before he dies. Yapsor on the other side is going to be traded out as he did toss in FNG for that. Nico, baby, sticking on to him. And meanwhile, the Lina's just dealing with the tier threes. So stop coming in. Uh-oh. He's in trouble. Gyrocopter, they got to get him out of here. Impossible. They just don't have anything, though. He's got no buyback and alliance. They could just potentially go straight for throne here. This life sealer has got Scotty. They can't fight. They might just be able to end it. I think they will. 60 seconds. Uh, Yapser wow. is going to have to do some crazy toss plays. And even that, he's got a minute left with the Aegis. I, I am flabbergasted that Alliance made such a sick comeback in this game. Because this, it just looked like they didn't have any place to run. They win one fight and they just momentum ran through Secret. Damn. I mean, this has been Alliance in a nutshell. This, honestly, this DPC, this so far. Yeah, this is this is a really fast-paced draft that they're going for here, right? Look, what's the, their longest cooldown is probably like the juggle. Oh, Limp is looking for kills all the time too. He keeps forcing Nisha to just like even little taps. Oh, did he get him? Did he get him? He got, got him. him. Oh, big kill, Limp. Solo first bloods Nisha. You know, potentially oh, could have farmed that. Is he in trouble? Oh, he is in trouble. Gets called up. Now he doesn't have spin any longer. He does have an Omni Slash and a healing ward he can drop, but it's, it's, yeah, it's going to be a fruitless attempt. No point in even trying. I, I'm still. Oh, saw the stack. His is going to run out. He's immediately going to be spotted here by Nico, baby. He's going to try and farm the stack that Yapsor scattered out earlier, and he's going to commit heavily. He's doing a lot of damage back on Nico, baby, but so many of Alliance are going to be able to close in on him. He takes some of the get? stack. I don't know how much. They do have to start hunting these heroes because. Yeah, the farm is working a little bit for Secret here. Yeah, I mean, there's no counter initiation with no Blink Dagger Axe. So, like, theoretically, the heroes that you go on, it's not like there's going to be a massive play. Like, the Phoenix Egg is maybe going to be out there, but you don't have the Axe necessarily to cover that, especially if you get the kill on Yapsa right away, which they do, thanks to the Inkswell, thanks to the uh, throw of the tree. But, yeah, I want to see these two bruisers just sticking together. They can just keep getting these kills, and okay. Secret's just fully split up. 6,600 net worth. Wait, what, what just happened? Oh, okay. We're back inside the game as the mid lane engagement. Zai is going to be quite low. Looks like he's going to be dying as Stroke runs him over. Nisha is trying to morph into strength. Konskin, he gets caught oh, inside the DC'd. river, but oh no, he DC'd right away. Yeah, and then it's probably going to die. Let's say. All right, it goes out. The Omni Slash then in turn goes on to Nisha. Now they're going to be able to kill the egg as well. Oh dear. The bear. The bear going in on FNG, but the bear, he's got to run, keep running. It's got a haste run. Okay, that's oh, why he ew. threw it in. <laughs> All right. 
Okay, so they each got, they've all got the one item that they do want on their cores at least. Lim, Lim continues his rampage, but is he gonna be caught here? Nisha turning into the tiny and tossing him back into Zai. Zai hits the call, pops the Manta, and there's your damage. Alliances ahead in experience though, quite significantly because of this map control that they've had for the most part of the game. So look at the sigil, it's, it's slowing down the bear a lot. The call is actually gonna be able to go off and oh my God, Onskin, he just gets deleted almost immediately. The bear is still gonna die. Limp is forced to use his BKB here. The sigil still keeping the chase up. Nico Baby's gonna be running down the two supports here. A puppy, he's gonna be the first to go down. Size just being poked at by S4 right now. Matumba Man, his bear coming back into play here. It's gonna stall up S4, hoping to be able to keep his ax alive. Bouncing around is the Omni Slash. It sticks onto the illusions, unfortunately. Real one, more fling. On the run here, low on mana, doesn't have a way out of this one. He's just gonna be slowly burned down unless Matumba Man can somehow save him. Maybe Absor as well. He's got enough to be able to jump out with a waveform. Call going in. Now with the egg on the side here. Oh dear, Zai, he actually gets the call and he runs away. He's still alive through all of this one, Nico Baby. He charges in with the egg swell, but that's just an Aeon disc on Yapsor. He's gonna continue to slow down Nico Baby. Zai, he meets him around the corner. He says, are you looking for me, punk? And that's all his eye lives throughout the whole thing. He's the one who was getting gone on with the sigil at the start. Is not in the smoke. The bear by itself is going to be pushing in the mid lane. Oh, they, they get to jump in. They're going to try and blow up Nico, baby. They get him. Oh, they didn't get him in the snowball fast enough. Hanskin tried to get the save. Now they shard that Nisha threw out, blocked in S4, and he doesn't actually manage to kill him. S4 successfully TPs out, but Hanskin, surely he's gonna be run down. It's just a call and a calling blade at this point. Nico Bay plays the outskirts of the fight. He knows he can't just charge in on his second life. Axe BKB still cooldown. Okay. Matumba Man, he's gonna use his bear to scout the high ground. They reveal that Alliance is up there. The cookie's gonna be given to the bear, but the bear is tossed right back in. They know this is the second bear of the low druid, but oh no, Limp, he took so much magic damage there. Zai goes in with a big two-man call, FNG and Hanskin. They rip through S4, a BKB TP out. The call, the damage, the physical damage is enough. It's not the call, it's the calling blade of Zai that will stop that TP. Three down on the side of Alliance. And this, it actually is pretty crazy how low it is. Yep, 7.5 seconds. First bear does go down, but Zai is going to be able to get this nice call onto the Viper. S4 taking a lot of damage. The Omni Slash going back over to Zai. He used the Stormcraft to survive a little bit longer. The Cookie, it's not going to be able to save him. Nico Baby, he sees his opportunity, but the Shard, it's blocking him, and he's not able to chase after Puppy. Meanwhile, they're losing their top lane of Barracks. Alliance, they got to put a stop to this one, but the toss back, it missed. All right, well, yeah, 80, uh, it's 70 seconds. Alliance Dude, his illusions. Heroes. His illusions are still going to take. They didn't stop this. The Lotus Orb stops the Switch Slasher going in. The range barracks is taken by the illusions in the top lane. But meanwhile, Nisha, he's getting in there right now. He's already killed FNG. He doesn't care about this life. His Aegis was just about to expire. So he says, thank you very much. Fresh life. Let's see if he survives, though. Toss up almost instantly. The ink swell is not going to be enough. Monty's Nisha pops his BKB, and he's going away. While Matumba Man continues the rat. The tier three is being ripped apart, but he's actually going to pull it back now. Well. If one supernova is hard to deal with, a second one is going to be even worse. Hanskin spotted by the illusions, and the real Nisha shows up to collect the kill. Next is 25 talents. Oh no! He's got the oh kick. no! Nico baby. Oh, Nico baby. He was in the glyph. They glyphed the creep wave, and Nico Baby's just left there trying to kill the creep because he knows if they complete this TP, then he can't get back home. And if he can't get back home, then they could be faced up against Megas. And Nico Baby, even worse, may just be dying out here as Mantumba Man TP'd over. They're going to use the Omni Slash. Mantumba Man's actually a little bit low. He does. Oh, he actually gets him. Nico Baby is now going to try and chase down Zai as well. They hold down this bottom lane. This could be fantastic. But look at Zai. He's not going to let Nico Baby get back to base. Nisha, he's tearing apart these buildings. Zai, he's going to take tank it all. He says, go team, go. Get the Megas. Fla flicker, Swiss Slash over Manta, and eventually Nico Baby gets the double kill, but the damage has been done. Megas has been achieved for Secret. He's got the gold for the rapier. He got 1,600 for killing Zai. So, all right, let's see if he can make some real miracles happen now. Alliance can't just go for the win here, or something close to it mid. anyway. Yeah, I, I mean, just it really is a straight down mid. If the once the megas hit your base versus lone druid and stuff, you know what's gonna happen. They're gonna be able to split push you. So it's hey, straight down mid. Protecting him, they are gonna stop him from being able to jump away. Pots are refreshing, but he's silenced up right now. They're gonna make sure he goes down and he's not gonna be able to stormcraft or into the egg. But the egg is gonna get burst down so quickly. It quickly falls. Hanskin, he almost gets taken apart. But the snowball over onto Poppy. Lotus Orb is gonna bounce it right back.
chasing after Puppy. And if anything, Hanskin might be in trouble here. But Nico, baby, Nico, baby, he's going for Nisha right now. Nisha turns around. He pops the E-Blade. He turns into a Tiny as well just to try and keep this Juggernaut away from him. His damage is immense. He is something to be feared right now. Careful so he doesn't get any type of steal. But they, they have to commit. Like, this is your only win condition. Your only win win. Oh, they're now. actually... Okay. So the buyback has been used. They're going to go for the call, but they didn't actually do the road shot. They're waiting and waiting and waiting, and they take down Zai. As a result, he doesn't have a buyback. They're going to get Aegis, an Aghanim Scepter, a cheese. Nico, baby, he is flush right now. He is fully engorged, and he's ready to go. They're ready to run at the base. Zai honestly purchasing the Octarine may have been a bit of a blunder if they do end up dropping this game somehow, because those back-to-back -back deaths, they're costing. 30 seconds. They've got a stall for 30 seconds for Zai to be able to come back up. The Sunray's burning. Oh, Hanskin. He's taking way too much damage, and now he's going to be heading deep inside the base. Nico Baby tries to help him out where he can, but Hanskin's dead, and he has no buyback. A uh, four versus four is going to turn into a four versus five, and Alliance is looking like they have to retreat now. Nisha poking at him, but a Soulbind is going to go on to him and the bear. The Lotus Orb is protecting him against the Swiss Slash. It's going to be able to break the Soulbind, but a Nico Baby is making his way into the back line there. But now Nisha is dishing out the damage. He's stuck inside the Supernova. He's dead. One life down. Puts the Aghanim Scepter into his backpack. He needs every bit of help he can get because the Sun Race there. He's been feared up. He may be called as well. Zai's going to make sure he doesn't go anywhere to jump over the Swiss Slash, but he's dead. Calling Blade Divine Ray you're on the ground secret they hold out against alliance and that is pretty much it they may have buybacks but they don't have divine rapiers secret there was a moment there there was a possibility was uh, secrets actually drafted something i think i'd never see for secret almost everyone has a stun because lena overall is just a better he's just a much stronger laner this hero's phenomenal all the buffs she's gotten Matu might suffer a little bit down here. FNG's getting in there. Nico, baby, helping him out. And he just punches down gaps. Or the, the panel was talking about one of the downsides of Winter Wyvern is your poor laning phase. Yeah, that's very long cooldown. That's why we see these poor Wyverns. Oh, double stun again. Little Shredders tearing apart Hanskin. They need a couple more hits in. Hanskin goes into the trees, but it's not good enough. The Fairy Fire will not save him just to be able so. to prevent the DK from uh, harassing away at that tower. Top lane, Zai is going to be challenged once again. He's just going to go for a TP out. Nico Baby hopes for the bash. Doesn't quite get it. Bottom lane, they're going for the Hanskin kill, but he managed... Oh, the last shot from Puppy. Barely gets the last hit. Meanwhile, there is the rotation from Yapsor, and it does kill the mid DK. Kind of big damage issues coming out from Alliance versus yeah. the Centaur. With Vanguard Hood and with Yapsor always behind him, I don't really know how they're going to be bringing him down unless they actually just all in everything when they have Splitter. Oh, here it comes. They don't have Laguna Blade just yet on Hanskin, and they do have Cold Embrace as well. The Underlord's going to be here, though, and Zai, he's going to be in a sticky situation. The tower is definitely going to die. Zai hits the stomp before the pit can grab him. It's still out there, though, and Zai still likely to die unless the winner's curse a cookie hop up the cliff but Hanskin he managed to get it from the low ground now the chronosphere is going to be used they managed to catch Nisha a big big kill Dragonite stuck inside the chronosphere but it doesn't matter they didn't need his damage anyway very small amount his side yeah, so yeah, so missed like one or two that I saw so that was yeah, that was painful they do have the Yules on Nisha chain stun that's enough Nico baby they showed so many heroes bottom lane that Secret were eager to make a move anywhere else, and they make a move both mid and top. Kill the five and one. Yeah, about a 500 net worth difference between him and, and the faceless void. But if he dies here, the Mortimer's Kiss is going to be raining some shots in. The Cold Embrace is going to help protect Matama Man, but he's going to be hit by an LSA. Laguna Blade, that's not quite enough by itself. They need a little bit more. S4 was looking for it. Couldn't quite get close enough. Now Matama Man turns around, keeps S4's chain stun a little bit longer. Fortunately, S4 is tanky. He's got the Dark Rift. He's being run down. The Stomp gives him the space. Nisha could have run him down. But because of FNG, S4 will get away safely. He's just going to keep farming he's not slowed down one bit unless oh, unless maybe he should have gone back Nico maybe go for the solo kill the cold brace it's coming oh he's a bash kill them the bash damage the bash magic damage ends up killing him Nico baby they're gonna try and burst him down they get the stomp it's barely in range but they get him still Zai Still trying to keep spamming up this top lane. The two spammers, S4 and Hanskin. I think Zai has to give a little more respect to the percent damage, especially with the Roots and the Atos coming in. Nisha. Winter's Curse. That's not going to be enough to bail him out. He's hit by the ET Stomp. He's still going to just die if Yapsor's not there to bail him out. They, they re-smoked in secret. They're going to find their Yapsor. That's exactly who Alliance wanted.
first. They're going to be able to bring down this big team fighting support. He tries to get out the Colonel Brace. That's not good enough. On the other side, though, Matama Man takes down FNG. So the fight is going to be breaking apart here. So Matamba Man wants to get out of here, but he's just not going to. Limp, there's the pit. There's the LSA. And Nico Baby's here with the double damage as well. <laughs> I'm not sure Alliance would expect them to fight just because Alliance is so strong, but... They're not making any mistakes in positioning, at least not yet anyway. They're going to jump for the back line and go for Dragonite first, see if they can kill him. They do manage to do so, but S4 managed to get the pit onto two with the Laguna Blade taking out Nisha. Winter's Curse onto the Faceless Void, but it's not going to last for long. He's going to try and take down Puppy. He's going to get on top for a second there. Matuma Man, meanwhile, did kill the Lina. His damage with God's Strength is what is going to make Alliance retreat. They still have the Chronosphere. They're going to go back into it. Time dilation first onto Matuma Man, threatening that Chronosphere, always threatening it bit by bit. They've Percentage-based damage is doing its job on a Matumba Man. Now they just need a little bit more of the Chronosphere. They got Yapsor to make sure they can put the damage on a Matumba Man. He didn't need to catch the Sven inside of that one. They managed to hit him with the hoof stomp, though. Maybe he'll lose his Aegis, or maybe he won't. He won't. He time locks the damage off. He starts putting it onto Zai. Zai, Cookie, they can't take it down. Aegis is gone, but it's going to be a one fight for alliances. Zai, he can't get away from the Firestorm. FNG runs down Yapsor to a man. Alliance beat out secret he just can get popped so easily from this alliance lineup see these these bottle power runes are so big because uh, like secrets going in under smoke but they don't realize that there's going to be this double damage and that's a huge factor Zai, Nico, baby. yeah Zai misses out on that one s4 he's breaking the smoke now into the back but Tumba Man, he jumps forward almost immediately, going for FNG, and they will manage yes. to kill him with a bit. First bit of the BKB. Hans Kenny's gonna jump forward. They're gonna go for the kill onto Lesher, but they don't quite get it. But Nico Baby's finally here. He has his double damage ready to go. He's gonna be used up for a second. Stun going out. He's actually being chained up a little bit here. But of course, nobody really wants to fight into him. Finally sees the opportunity for that Chronosphere. He's on him onto Tumba Man, but Tumba Man's just being ripped apart by that double damage. Now it's Nisha's turn as well. The two cores dead from Nico, baby. And he goes for a third one as well. Zai, he hits a stomp, a winner's curse, but Yapsor couldn't get away. It didn't drag in the Dragonite. Now Zai, he's surely dead. Nico, baby, handles secret. And then he's able to pop it. Then he's able to hit that Chronosphere. And that double damage means it's not one core kill he gets, but two. He jumps in after everyone's like the burst damage. And yeah, like you said, two-man Chrono also. He probably could have only saved the one. It's Limp again. Hopped. Hopped into them. Stuns uh -oh. Nico, baby, but now has put this last strike in an awkward position. The Cold Embrace is only going to do so much for you, especially as the magic damage is enough to kill him, even as the, the curse comes out. Yaps or he dies, caught by uh, the ET. Rax is claimed. Nico, baby, not stopping. Keeps that a rolling. Megas soon to ensue here as uh, he jumps forward, seeing if he can potentially catch the Winter Wyvern. Doesn't. The smoke breaks. Matumba Man, he thought he had himself a sneaky position, but he's been caught. No chance to even get off the BKB. The damage just rains on in. And Nico Baby, he keeps on poking at him. He says, you want to get close to me? I'm ready to go. I've got the shard. I can jump in, jump back out. The cookie goes in. They're going to buy back now. And Matumba Man, they're going to go for this kill. But Nico Baby jumping back in and then back out with the time walk shard they're gonna try and take down this ages and see if they have enough and they don't quite get him they didn't even kill him the once i mean they see puppy out on the map they're like okay we're just going to uh go back into the base Another jump forward, another jump back. He just keeps it going. BKB activated by Limp before the stomp comes in. They're just going to go for Megas here and then potentially get out as Nico Baby keeps up teasing secret. Nisha going to be saved by the Cold Embrace. But Tom Man's finally going to come in. He actually pops a God Strength. They're going to go for the kill now. And a Nico Baby, but three man Chronosphere all lined up. A Winner's Curse is going to be able to save them for a moment, but it's only a second or two before Nico Baby rains hell down on secret. No buybacks from those two cores, GG. and Puppy calls it GG. Alliance get another 2-1 victory. 4-0 and zero now, the Western European DPC. And they're guaranteed now, right? That's, well, it should be as long as they win the other matchups because they've faced all the hard teams so far.